is Llamas! What the fuck is up you guys? It's your boy Way Too Many Llamas and I know I might seem a little hyper right now. I just finished streaming so I am a little bit on the hyper side. Um, but thank you guys for coming to watch the video. I know this is a new channel and it's all confusing. But this video is here to help explain everything that's going on. Now, before we get into the commentary, I want to say go check out E. coli Espresso. His link will be top one in the in the description. He is the gameplay that you are watching right now, and I want to thank him very much for giving me this gameplay. It means a lot. So, <clears throat> what happened with my channel? Now, it's it's happened to a lot of people's channel recently, but they have YouTube has been giving out strikes, and it's I wouldn't say it's YouTube's fault. But they definitely have a part to play in the whole thing. I think it's some sort of glitch because I got two strikes on the exact same video. And they're the exact same strikes. They were for um, inappropriate content. Now, both of these videos were over, over a year old. And I have to say, if I've ever uh, uploaded inappropriate content, I think it would be closer to now than it would be back then. I was very conservative at the start, and then I really just started having fun with YouTube. And I would say, I mean, not to say that any of the, anything I upload is controversial, because, I mean, once in a while I'll make little jokes here and there, but I'm never serious about anything that I say. So I think that's most important. So what ends up happening is when you get two strikes, you can't upload for two weeks. So now what YouTube wants me to do is sit there and wait two weeks. Now, and keep in mind, I've already appealed both strikes. I've appealed them both, and um, I, I was denied both, which, first of all, like, is, is bullshit. I don't even think the appeal system is real, because if it was, then these strikes would be taken away, or even at least one of them would be taken away. I got two strikes for the exact same video, which makes absolutely no sense. Now, the other thing is, now, leaving my channel to sit there and stagnate for two weeks will absolutely destroy my channel. There's almost no point in continuing that channel. I know I took a month break, and that destroyed my channel. When I came back, I was getting like 2K views per video that I uploaded. Now I'm getting upwards of like 12K, because I've really worked on getting my channel back up to date and whatnot. But now, taking another two-week break, and it's, it's not even a wanted break. It's not like I wanted to take a break. Y YouTube decided for me, okay, you have two strikes, so now you have to take a break. Um, so now I my channel is basically going to die. So I'm starting on this channel, and I'm starting fresh for two reasons. The first reason, I've already explained, that my channel is going to completely die off. Now, the second explanation for it is... The second reason is pretty important too. I just really don't want to risk a third strike. I don't think there's any reason for me to think that if I've already been false claimed twice, that it won't happen a third time. I don't want to take that risk. So I'm starting fresh. And trust me, I know a lot of people are disappointed and saying, you know, we got this far and everything like that. And, you know, believe me, I'm disappointed as well. I never wanted my YouTube to be... You know, like I never wanted to get to a point where I'm scared to upload, and I and I, you know, I'm worried about how often I'm uploading and if I'm uploading enough because I got to keep my subscribers happy and everything like that. So this two strikes has really screwed me up. I mean, when I first got them, I was I was shaking. I really was. I was scared. I was like, I've I'd never got one strike, let alone two. So I'm and now I got to wait two weeks. The, the other weird thing about the whole situation is they want me to write a proper appeal, but th I can't watch the video that was struck and down. How does that even make sense? How can I write a proper appeal on a video that's over a year old if I can't even watch it to see what's necessarily inappropriate about it? Now, the video in question, I mean, it's already been taken down by YouTube, so it's not like you can go watch it, but it's called Call of Duty I Effing Hate This Game. Now... The video was me just saying my gripes with Call of Duty Ghosts. It, it was all about ghosts. Um, and it, it was about how I really disliked the game and how I thought the game mechanics needed the change and everything like that. And I think a lot of people have made videos like that. And I didn't say anything inappropriate. I mean, if I did, I might have swore once in a while. But I would have never, like, it would have never been like I was talking about religion or anything serious. It was, I mean, I was talking about how a game sucked. So for me to get a strike on that is absolutely absurd. I mean, 
I'm really pissed off too because you know I see people like so close to toast and and other bigger youtubers T Martin and everything like that having these big problems and you know what they're able to contact someone from YouTube now I have a hundred and seventy thousand subscribers I know that's not huge and I'll tell you why I know that's not huge because YouTube doesn't give a shit I tried to contact YouTube um, I've, I've sent emails out and I've also tried to f uh, follow up on Twitter and nobody responds to me and that's because um, yeah I make YouTube money but I don't think I make them enough money that I'm really valued as a content creator it's sad um, it's very sad because I think if I had uh, 500,000 more subscribers I'd probably get somebody who would contact me and say uh, you know this is what happened and this is how we can fix it the other problem on top of all this there's a lot of issues is that I contacted my partner and company and they told me oh uh, yeah you got you really got to do this yourself so I'm I mean really I I've partnered this channel with a different partnering company that I think cares a lot more about the people that make them money because what you don't know about these companies is really they do dick all for you and take your money now there are companies out there who really do value you as a content creator and as an employee and you know protect you in certain ways and the company I was with basically said yeah you're shit out of luck so deal with it yourself so that is a third reason why I'm not deciding on sticking on my main channel now what does this mean honestly for you guys I wouldn't say it means a lot I mean unless you really care about how many people you're subscribed to and that number really matters to you all you got to do is click subscribe and you'll be getting the exact same content and the exact same llamas because I'm not going to change anything about myself um, these strikes are unwarranted they don't make any sense and it doesn't even tell me who struck my channel I, I think there needs to be certain things implemented by YouTube that change the way people can false flag and false strike and everything like that because I think it's way too easy and it, and it's 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 just sad because I've never lost a channel but I know people who have and it's devastated them people who are real entertainers and really love interacting with people that has devastated them and when I found out that I had two strikes it absolutely devastated me I mean it but believe it or not it rocked me to my core it was I mean, I was so grumpy for the last three days. Um, I haven't wanted to record. I haven't really wanted to do anything. And just now I'm kind of realizing, you know, I can start fresh with a new company that does care and that is going to help me through these issues. And I'm not going to be dicked around. That's what really pisses me off. You know, YouTube, I love YouTube. It's a platform where I can do something I love doing. But at the same time, I'm not valued for what I'm doing, whether it's because I'm in the gaming community or whether it's because I don't have enough subscribers. It really doesn't matter. I think if you're going to have a system where people can false flag you and false strike you, that there should be someone that I can talk to regardless of size. I think someone with 100 subs should deserves the same respect as somebody with a million subs. I don't think because I have a high subscriber base, that means that I should be talk to faster than someone with a lower sub base but I think if you are gonna talk to million subscriber channels that you should really also concentrate on the smaller guys the guys who yes still make you money maybe don't make you enough money that you really care but that are still a part of the community and a part of what makes YouTube great I know a lot of people who aren't in the gaming community think the gaming community is a bunch of dog shit. And I mean, listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion. That's completely fine. But, you know, f I, I don't think what happened to me was fair. And uh, again, you know, if, if someone contacts me from YouTube and explains it and says, this is why this happened and this is why this happened, then I, I, I'm on a better basis of knowing why it happened. But the strike I got doesn't explain anything. It doesn't explain who struck me down, why they struck me down. It says inappropriate content, but so many things fall under that that I could flag all, every channel for inappropriate content. So this is like a little rant. I, as you can tell, I'm I'm, I'm really pissed off. I've I've kind of built up a lot of anger towards this, um, but. I'm, I'm looking forward to starting fresh, starting new, and I hope that you guys are going to come along uh, the ride for me. It's really important that if you enjoy my content that you stick with me because I'm not going to change whatsoever. 
uh, you know, it's only going to get better from here. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Peace out, everybody.